Escondido have filed a petition to stop the development of a closed country club. It has been shut down since April 1st, but outraged residents have rallied. Covering the new developments, 10 News reporter Chris Murphy is live with what they're doing tonight about this. Chris. Kimberly, first of all, take a good look for yourself. And this place is just desolate, as you can see. Not a car in the parking lot. Volunteers have gathered thousands of signatures to, ask, to answer your question to petition the city council to reopen this country club. Now, while the signatures are being verified, the fight over the decades old golf course could last for years. We have 9,360 signatures. Enough to fill two boxes and well more than enough to qualify for the November 2014 ballot. And we're going to verify that the signatures were, were um, written in properly. The petition drive was launched three months ago after the new owners of the Escondido Country Club announced staggering losses would force them to shut down the golf course. As many as 400 houses would go where the golf course had been since 1964. The spokesperson for the owner, Stuck in the Rough LLC, explained the reason behind the plan to 10 News in February. So they're, they're losing $35,000 a month, roughly. Uh, and it'll take another $2 million to make it up to snuff. But that never happened, and the golf course was shut down on April 1st. Within uh, a week or two, uh, there were a handful of us that got together and said, are we just going to let it happen, or are we going to try to fight it as best we can? An army of volunteers then went door to door, collecting 3,000 signatures more than were needed. We have about uh, 320 volunteers that worked on the petition drive. Unpaid? All unpaid. But with a motive, as their homes were starting to lose value as the golf course began to turn brown, as captured by Sky 10 on Wednesday. Our motto kind of became save the green space. That was what we were working for. And save your property values. Well, save our property values too. Yeah, most, most of the volunteers live close by. These volunteers say their petition seeks to reaffirm the initial intent. The Escondido Country Club serve as open space. And they hope the new owners will either refurbish the golf course or sell it to someone who will. Those signatures must now be verified by the Registrar of Voters. That could take until August 20th. Reporting live in Escondido, Chris Murphy, 10 News.